comparison audio of the uh, ICOM 7100, <clears throat> which is um, new to me. And uh, so far, I've been really impressed. It's done a, done a fine job so far. I'm still getting used to it. Uh, and the comparison, just for grins, is the uh, the ICOM 703, which uh, did not have the same receiver as the 706. It was a, a much more sensitive receiver, uh, even though this is a little more dated. Um, it did have a DSP in it and an automatic notch filter and uh, noise reduction. So uh, I do have, let me turn off that notch filter. Um, both units currently set with their noise reduction on and on level three. Uh, both units have the um, attenuators off but no preamps on and I've tried to make them as much apples to apples as possible. So let's start and see if we've got somebody over here. <laughs> There's a station I don't have a copy on the other side, but anyway, you can see there's uh, there is a bit of a difference. Um, <clears throat> the 703 does have, I think, a bit more of a, a rich audio to it. Um, the 7100 though is adjustable for receive audio, so if you want to put a little more bass into it, a little more treble, take a little bit in or out, it'll let you do that, which is nice. Um, and and you would expect that from a newer rig, but. I'm not trying to compare any apples or apples here. It's just uh, sometimes people are looking for a comparison to one radio versus another, and they might know one versus the other. So not trying to prove any points here, but the uh, the old 703 <coughs> still has a, a, a great receiver in it. He's too weak as well. He's in there, but it's it's a real light copy. Anyway, that's uh, just a quick comparison, just for sometimes people are looking to hear uh, how a radio sounds. And uh, both radios here are using the internal speaker, so the internal speaker of the 703 and the internal speaker on the head of the 7100. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope it helps.